Hi everybody, it's Flat Cap Cafe Racer. I'm up here at the Triumph Boise and Indian Motorcycle Shop today to look at a couple of the new 400s, see them in person. I want to see them before they go, so stay tuned. Well, uh, they unfortunately they don't have a bike that I can demo up here today. As a matter of fact, this Scrambler that we're looking at right here, this 400 Scrambler X, was uh, is being delivered this afternoon. So we do have a Speed 400, the street model, and we have the the X. But uh, I thought I'd get up here just to kind of look those over, set on them, throw a leg over, give you my my impressions of, of the bike. Hopefully, a little bit later, I'll be able to to ride the bikes themselves. And I'm going to bring out um, maybe a another one of the Triumph models out here to kind of look in comparison but when you look back when you look back at these bikes um, it's really hard to tell the difference you can see the family resemblance I'll say that between the the twin cylinders and the, the single cylinders of course the scrambler actually got the little headlight guard you've got a and then uh, you get a little crossbar here with a pad on it the instruments I believe are exactly the same the the mirrors are a little bit different you can see that the mirrors uh, on the street are bar in mirrors and these are the um, typical mirrors that you'd find you see the uh, the X has a round seat and the speed twin uh, Street Speed 400 has the black seat. Both of them have the the Triumph on the on the back. Both of them have a little piece for you to hang on to. And again, you can see that there's a little difference in the in the mufflers and how the bikes sound. I'll play that. The foot pegs are a little bit different on each one of the bikes. This is the Scrambler X. And this is the Speed 400. As you can see, there are some differences there. And the seat height will be a little bit different. But what you may not know is the, the distance between the foot peg and the seat height, which is I always find very important. We'll get out here and I'll give you another measurement, but just looking at it, um, there's about 21 inches here. And it's a little, about an inch less over on the, on the Speed 400. So I'd say um, if you need more than 20 inches of distance between your your seat and your foot peg you might more be interested in the scrambler model it gives you a little bit more uh, for me uh, about 20 inches is about I'll throw up some pictures of some of my other bikes in comparisons so I've got stuff from from the Tiger all the way to the Thruxton it's a difference in seat height and I'll also show you a picture of me sitting on the bikes uh, and what they look like but other than that I, I don't know if the radiator guard there's a radiator guard on the scrambler I don't know if that's stock or not or whether the guy who purchased it purchased with that radiator guard the street doesn't have it so it gives the radiator a little bit different appearance. Uh, of course, you got a 17 inch front on the Speed 400 and a 21 inch uh, different compound, I mean 19 inch front tire on the Scrambler, apologize. You know, most of these people advertise stuff as MSRP and, and, and you and I know that uh, MSRP is not what you end up paying for a bike. You end up paying uh, MSRP plus uh, freight setup 
taxes and all that. So quite a few people are sometimes um, shocked when they find out that the price of a bike is a couple thousand dollars more than what they thought. These little bikes really suffer a little bit more on and then percentage of it than the, the bigger bikes because the bigger bikes say you got a twenty thousand dollar bike the freight on that say it's a thousand dollars and usually the freight on one of these are, is, is exactly the same so it's that's a bigger percentage of what the bike cost and uh, that's sometimes people get mad at the dealers but that's just the way it, way it is what's Triumph or it's BMW or it's Royal Enfield or it's whatever. And I don't understand why freight is higher on motorcycles than it is on cars, but it seems to be. Okay, this is what I look like sitting on the bike. I'll take a picture of the ergonomics angle. Um, it sits Let's see how it feels coming off the stand. It comes off the stand really easy. Um, the ergonomics are, I have to compare it. I don't know what I could compare it to, but it, it's, it's, the bars are high enough. Um, I think that if you're gonna be standing and riding, I don't know. I'm about five foot eight, so, but for me at five foot eight, I've got my tiptoes there on the ground, but fortunately the wax is pretty light. But it feels pretty comfortable. Ergonomics, you're not you're not crunched up like this. Um, you, you're not get your feet way way back there. You don't have your handlebars down here. So all in all, I say this is pretty pretty comfortable. And I'm on the um, the X, the uh, 400X, so. Let's see what the 400 speed sets like. Okay, got my balls and my feet down. That's immediately noticeable. Also, that the bars are a little bit lower. Um, so we'll do it with a foot up on the right hand side. Take a picture of that. See what that looks like. Maybe I'm a little bit more canned forward. Kind of feels that way, but I don't know for sure. Let me get this this side. But both of them feel real comfortable. I like I, I do like bar end mirrors a little bit better. I think uh, generally speaking, the older you get, the more you like higher bars. I think shorter people will probably like this one just a little bit better because if you're shorter than like. 5'8", five, 5'7", five, you probably like this one better because the distance to the, the ground's a little bit better. The leg position is comfortable still yet on this one. I, I don't notice that inch that I just measured here. Maybe it'll show up on the, the picture, but I don't notice that. So let's get a one of the speed, speed twins or something out here and uh, do a little comparison. What do you say? Okay, I'm going on the, just for comparison purposes, I'm on a Speed Twin 900. And um, it sets, feels like it sets, I got both feet flat on the floor, uh, the pavement here. With the Speed 400, I had the balls, and with the Scrambler, I was kind of on the tiptoes, so I'd say this is sits lower to the ground, and it has a lower from seat the foot peg height than even the speed. I think is about an inch difference between this one's about an inch lower than the Speed 400, and the Speed 400 is about an inch lower to the X from the seat to the foot peg. Uh, obviously the knee angle is not quite as stretched on this bike it does have a different feel uh, to it than the, the speed r4 i think the width of the bikes are the the biggest difference 
if you're looking at it from a picture from the side, you'd be hard pressed to say, hey, that's a speed 900, that's a speed 1200, that's a speed 400, because they look remarkably the same. The, the um, speed 900 has a 18 inch front tire and the speed 400 has a uh, 17 and of course the x has a 19 but i digress there uh, got the doesn't have the bar end mirrors it has the mirrors kind of like the x does Well, there it is folks i set on three different bikes from the ergonomics that's a big piece for me and i think i'd have to ride all ride those bikes to do a, a, a better comparison i think visually speaking the x is a little bit more appealing to me i think ergonomically um, it works maybe a little bit better but uh, I do like parts of the uh, the 400 speed also, and so I'd have to I had to test ride them, I and I think you would too, and uh, to see which one you like the best. I think it would jump out at you which one you like the best. But I think a, a test ride would definitely be in order for that. And you have to check with your dealer for your total out the door prices on these things. Um, you know, you can go to the website and get the MSRP, but just be cognizant you're going to pay more than that because of all the other stuff that goes along with it. I think the bigger surprise to me that the Speed 9, 900 actually felt like a smaller bike. Who would have knew that? <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. This is a Flat Cap Cafe Racer. And thanks to the uh, people that here at uh, Boise Triumph and Indian for letting me play around with the bikes here today. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.